back to the show. If you've been watching the past couple of weeks, we've been talking about detox, and there's so many different kinds out there, and how do you find out which one is the, is the right one for you? Well, there's no better person to have on the Let's show. start exactly with that question. First okay. of all, how many types of detoxes are there available for people out there? There's literally hundreds, but the reality is, is if we actually go down to organ systems, there's different targeted areas that each detox uh, focuses on. Okay. So there are some that are geared more towards the digestive system, others more towards the liver, others towards the skin, the kidneys, etc., or maybe even the lungs. So those are all your pathways of elimination. Okay, so let's talk about why we need to detox, yes. okay, first of all, and how do we know that we need to detox? Great. Well, in terms of why do we need to detox, in terms of the amount of chemicals that we're exposed to on an annual basis, again, we can line trucks up, you know, end to end, right from the tip of Antarctica all the way down to the end of U.S. And also, if you think about it, I know I put on at least 10 products before I leave the house, mm -hmm. right. and on average, most people do. So that, again, is absorbed through our skin, and in some point in way, our body has to get rid of that. All right, now let's go choosing a, a detox that's right for you. How sure. do you know? You mentioned a few right off the top that specifically target organs. How do you know which exactly. organs you should be targeting? Well, at OptiHealth, we put it together in two ways. What we do is we do a MSQ, which is a questionnaire. So basically, we want to know what areas of the body are you experiencing symptoms. So that's one thing. Um, however, some people don't experience any symptoms, and that's where the second step comes in, where we start looking at urines. Mm -hmm. and the urinalysis tells us how are the bowels functioning, how uh, are, is the adrenal gland functioning, where's your pH at, and that can give us a second opinion of exactly which detox and how long you need to do it for. So you say, you would do both at yes. OptiHealth, right? Yes. Now you've been uh, kind enough to give us a couple of these questions yes. so we can share with the viewers um, some of the questions you would ask in the first section, right? Great. So do you mind if I just go yeah. through a couple and uh, yeah. the viewers can follow along? First of all, you would ask, uh, is your energy Energy low when you wake up in the morning. Now, some of us yes. feel like that all the time. <laughs> right, what sort of scale are we thinking about here? So basically, again, your energy, you know, when you wake up in the morning, if it's less than a 7 out of 10, this is really something to consider. Okay. okay. Next one, do you have, or do you feel bloated? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Raise your hand. Oh, yeah, hello. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, that would be a really, really um, strong point to consider doing a digestive detox because in your digestion, you've got good bacteria that help you break down foods and unfriendly microorganisms such as yeast. If you right. use antibiotics, sugar, the birth control pills, stress, this all depletes these good bacteria and thus the body doesn't digest as well. I'm on antibiotics yeah, right that's now. That's right. Yeah. Okay, I got to think of that. Uh, dry skin. Itchiness, eczema, yes. these types yes. of things. So again, those all might be contact dermatitis, uh, eczema. Y your skin is your largest organ of elimination. So if you're having skin symptoms, it's coming from the inside. So that's one of the okay. first uh, things that you'd want to do if you're having skin symptoms is consider doing a detox. This one's interesting. Are you prone to injury easily or experience pain? Yes, that's a big one. People don't realize that if you're an athlete and if you are you know, having this ache here, that ache there, a lot of it has to do with inflammatory patterns inside and the ease of how you're going to strain muscles and ligaments. And that all is conducive in an acidic environment, so you'll just tend to be more prone to injury. And that, again, can really be benefited by doing a detox. I think all of us get headaches. Headaches is the next yeah. one. Do, do you, do you yeah. get he headaches? Is this for people that get frequent headaches, or does it matter? Really, we're targeting people that have headaches that occur fairly frequently. Okay. Uh, again, a detox can be beneficial for those that don't have headaches, but yeah, definitely on a on a regular basis. Well, these are just some of the uh, some of you know some examples of some of the questions. I think we gave the viewers um, a good indication there, and they would contact you for more for yeah. sure. Let's go back to you had mentioned about um, uh, how often and for how long yes. you would detox. Right. Yes, so again, it's individual to each person. If somebody has never done a detox before, again, you wanna be supervised, you wanna go slowly and steadily, because we wanna remember that a detox is a medical program, and sometimes right. people can feel worse before feeling better. Right. So how long, the minimum amount of time would be 14 days, and it could be extended to eight to 12 weeks or plus if we're still seeing lab chemistry showing the need to do that. 
So let's talk about then how you go about doing a detox. Are there yeah. natural remedies out there that you can take for yourself to put you through a detox exactly. program? Exactly. Well, if we look at some of the medicinal products and, and we understand how the liver, let's say, first of all, functions, the liver has two phases of detoxification. The first is based on uh, B vitamins, so you need a lot of B vitamins. The second is based on amino acids, so you need to have a lot of that nutrition. So medically uh, formulated products are really going to be very high in your B vitamins and very high in your proteins broken down to amino acids so the liver can work and flush this way. Okay. So they're really beneficial. Uh, the other thing to note is that you can clean inside the cells and you can also clean in between the cells. Regular exercise and light perspiration after 20 minutes is cleaning in between the cells. Oh, the deeper programs go inside the cells. So once you've cleaned in between the cells then you need to go in inside the cells themselves. So that's where these medical products come from. Okay. The other products that are available out there um, are uh, combination products where you've got a combination of B vitamins and then you've got some herbals. We were talking about dandelion, yes, yes. which is great for the liver. It'll make you go to the bathroom more often <laughs> to pee. Yeah. And milk thistle, which is a fabulous botanical as well. It helps the liver actually regenerate. So that's a really important nutrient if the liver's been damaged in some way or form. One quick question before we run out of time. You mentioned bowel uh, Cleanses, detox yep. and liver detox. Yes. Which one should you do first? It depends on where the focal point of your uh, health concerns okay. are. When you do the MSQ, it breaks it down. So if your point system is greater than 10, you should start with the liver portion as well as the bowel. So you should actually do them both together. It just depends on what your score is. Joelle, always a pleasure having yeah. you on the show. Thank Great you info. so much. Great information as, you, as usual. If you want more information or if you want to book an appointment, visit optihealth.ca. We're back in the kitchen with our good friend Corey Keeley right after this short break. And the song, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't tease them.